Welcome back to Media Day here in Charlotte. Going to talk about the running bulldogs of Gardner Webb from Boiling Springs. Carol McCray is the head coach. We also have with us Will Milliken, offensive lineman, and Tristan Dozier, defensive back. Both those guys are seniors. There's nobody in the country right now in college football is not excited about uh, what we're fixing to do. Get started again, and uh, I think these young guys, these collegiate athletes, you know, they every every time you go another year, you know, they encourage you, they give you enthusiasm, you know, they give you that youthfulness back as a coach and get you excited about what the opportunity lies ahead. We got a lot of work to do, you know, even in camp. We got a good four weeks plan. Got to get some things done to represent our school and Big South Conference the right way. But uh, we're we're good up. We're ready to roll. Tell me about the, the challenge that lies ahead for you guys and the work that has to be done. Yeah, you talk about being young. Well, we got some spots. You know, we're offensively we have some um, experience up front. Well, that's a good place to start on offense. Very youthful at quarterback. Going to be a first year guy. Take a snap. Going to have to stay with him the whole season. And uh, so we got some growing to do there. Defensively, we have some experience on the back end of our defense, but we're youthful up front in our defensive line. So those are the things we have to mesh together in camp, replacing the kicker and a punter. So each phase of the game has some important things we have to try out and get done in camp. Two weeks before school starts, two weeks after school, and then the opener home. The guys we got are very talented, and um, I think they'll make a lot of plays. I think we're going to have to help them a little bit with scheme early in the year, but as they go, I think their technique will get better. Just that game experience and the maturity that it takes to play against the offensive lines in this league and the non-conference games that we have, it, it'll be a growing experience for them. But I think that uh, they're talented enough with technique to be able to help us win games like that. Who are the quarterback candidates, and how soon do you expect to pick a, pick a guy? Well, um, Jordan Smith right now came out of spring, a uh, young man out of Florida, a redshirt freshman. And uh, Jalen Myers is another redshirt freshman out of Tennessee. We redshirted them both, understanding that we had come out of conference player of the year with Tyrell Maxwell, and they would have to play. So we dressed them out every week, put them in all the meetings, put them in every situation we could except taking a snap. So now it's their turn to step forward and go, and we'll have a package to play them both as we continue to go through the season. Tell me about both of those guys. I'm assuming they're not the same type of player. I mean, what are they well, they, they have similarities. You know, okay. one's a little bit better thrower. Jordan is a little better thrower maybe than uh, Jalen, although he's got a great strength of his arm. Jalen's probably a little better runner, but we think they're both capable of running the spread option. And uh, I think we're going to be more effective in the pass game with both of them, which should encourage us offensively and make us more dangerous and more rapid pace offensively. Coach, for those who aren't familiar with Big South football, yep. how, com how competitive is this? Conference? It's a very competitive conference. This is my 35th year in college. I've certainly been blessed. Been in a lot of conferences, been in the Southern Conference, and been in a lot of places. And uh, from Charleston Southern and ourselves, the, the charter members of the Big South Conference, to now Kennesaw and Monmouth and the new additions. This is a very extreme conference. The teams that went in to the playoffs from the Big South were deserving. And I think the way they played proved uh, what the Big South has become all about. It's a tough physical league with a lot of tough players and tough coaches. And I think we'll continue to gain respect around the country as we grow our league. We, we got work to do. You know, we we're, um, came in a situation, it's just, it's been um, a challenge to balance the youth and the maturity and get them to all work together. But, um, you know, as you start the season, I think it's anybody's ball game. And uh, I think the big thing about the Big South, when you get to play a full season, really, in non-conference play, and then draw a line in San announce, now you're going to play conference games for six weeks, or whatever that is. It, it gives you an opportunity, each and every member that's playing for the championship, to work their way through some maturity early in the season and then see what you can do to uh, try to chase Kennesaw, Monmouth, and the other guys that were ahead of you. Coach, what's it like to have another conference uh, member that's in the state of North Carolina? It makes recruiting much more difficult. Uh, that talent gets spread out between the Southern Conference, uh, the CAA with Elon, and now Campbell joining us, you know, and the other local Big South teams at Oxford. It continues to spread out the talent. So you got to push it a little further, maybe evaluate a little bit more, maybe take your kid and develop him a little bit longer. And uh, it makes you work a little harder in recruiting. Campbell's done a great job already. We hear about them. We recruit a lot of the same kids they have. And it's because we're in a league that's so powerful and so strong. And as the Southern Conference and the Big South spread the talent, I think we've got to continue to work a little bit harder in evaluating the kids, especially in Metro Charlotte, upstate of South Carolina, on into Atlanta and Florida. And here we go in the South. Next to speak, Gardner Webb head coach, Carol McCray. Thank you. I bring you greetings from the Running Bulldog camp. Kyle, you, and uh, 
it's Mark and Steve and everybody in Big South Conference. We certainly appreciate what you've done the last couple of days to uh, put up this great event and do all the things for the guys yesterday. Appreciate that, the sponsors that allow us to do that. You know, every time I come to this event once a year, I was talking to Kyle a little bit earlier today. If you want to see how tough this conference is, when I came here five years ago today, and we came to this event, I'm the only coach that was sitting here five years ago. Some have gone on, we moved programs to the FBS level, and some have gone on for other reasons. It's a very, very tough, competitive, hard-nosed conference, just like Mike said. We certainly welcome all the new members that have come to the conference. You know, I want to tell you, it's an honor to be up here with these coaches, honor to be here with these players. I love seeing these guys every year out of their uniform and get to shake their hand, talk to them for a few minutes and see what it's all about when it's not really time to play a ball game. And that's always encourages me. Because when it's all said and done, it's about those guys that strap on those helmets and give you the opportunity to compete and have fun and continue to work hard together. Really excited about the opportunity we have. Appreciate Mr. Birch, Mark Rabb, and all the contention for Gardner with being here, our players, who have continued to encourage me. And in the end, that's what keeps you young. It gives you the opportunity to come to work every day with some of the coaches have said and allow you to be encouraged by what we're going to do, not where we've been. So we took a step back. Last year, I'm encouraged by the steps we take. We're going to take a big step in camp in our program, and then we want to represent the Big South Conference in a much mightier way in our non-conference play before we get every second half of the season. We're open up, I think, against Kennesaw, defending champ, to start conference play, and then work through that conference. Again, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be a part of Gardner Web, be a part of Big South Conference. Thank you.